we have camera dot main so we're using the main camera reference here and then we get a uh, the screen point array point point of world view and then oops did my mouse post mouse post goes in there so basically what I'm doing here is when you when you touch the object and you're moving it around we're just keeping that movement within the Z coordinates so like I said we're not going to have this movement in like a 3D world so it's going to be just like the Pokemon go throw where the ball stays the same size as you move it across the screen and it doesn't go forward it doesn't go backwards it just goes left right up and down cool beats all right um what else do I need to make this work okay so this and this script is a, will be attached to the object that you want to move. So when I say this, I'm referring to this game object. So this game object dot transform. It's basically what this just says. I could just do transform, okay? But I am so accustomed to saying this. <coughs> Excuse me. Local position, and that needs to be equal to uh, vector three dot and this is where we're gonna move it i thought lerp had an a in there it's lerp like that um and lerp will take a vector three two vector three a and b position and then the float would be the speed so um from where to where that's what it's saying and you're going from a to b so the first position is where is it going to go from well it's going to go from whatever the current position is so this you know, the local position, right? And then where's it going? The new position that we made right above here. And then how fast I think a good number that works for me is about 80% or 80 um, in float. And then you want to time that by time or time dot delta time close that up and this function is done so here's what we're gonna do in the update this is where it's gonna get fancy uh, we're gonna say if you're olden open and close here I like to keep things kind of like that. So I made I made uh, two uh, bools here, two uh, true or false statements, thrown and holding. So when the ball is thrown or when you're actually holding it. So if you're holding it. So if your mouse down on uh, your finger, the ray cast, it hits the object, you're holding it. <laughs> That's when we're obviously going to call on touch. So then all of this is being called when you're holding the ball. Otherwise, we're just going to say else, you know, do nothing or return. We do that. Okay, so that's the first part of the script. We're still staying inside the update. Next is we're going to test if it's thrown. So I'm hoping this is all making sense to you. If it's thrown, right? Um, if it's thrown, there's nothing to do. <laughs> Return. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking else if thrown returned. So if holding. Do that else if thrown return. I should probably do the else if, yeah. So let's do an else if thrown return. For the hell of it. Do nothing if uh, otherwise you can just hit return there or not. Probably don't need to add that, but I'm going to add it just for the hell of it. So now um, you all know how to get the um, input touch 
it's always this, almost the same way every every tutorial you look at it's always the same as input dot touch count and if it's greater than zero that means your finger is on the screen you're touching something okay so now we're gonna call we're gonna create a variable say this is touch um, let's do some underscore touch and that will equal to uh, input let's see get and just space touch face no I think it's just get touch and yeah cast that same thing in there thinking 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 yeah 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 okay yeah I'm right I think I'm right <laughs> should be right so now if um lowercase no no underscore touch so now if this should have a phase yes phase if touch phase so at this point you're touch if it equals to touch phase dot begin so you've just you know started the touch it's at the beginning of the touch we want to do some array so we'll call this ray on lowercase ray um, equals again we gotta get to that camera main dot screen point array that's right um, input dot get touch yes where we shoot an array exactly where you touch it so now we have all of that stored in ray so ray is exactly where you're touching if you just touch and then we also need a ray cast a ray cast hit we'll just call it hit um so now uh if does this work yeah should physics Ooh. Ray cast. Oh man, what does it take? Ray. Okay. That's another way that I. <laughs> um. Wow. And I I usually just use about a hundred. This is how far out you're gonna shoot that ray cast from your finger until it hits an object um you usually don't need that much i think i'm missing a comma right here okay so the origin the um direction and then the the, the max distance i just put 100 uh, you can probably get away with like 50. so um remember that start time it's time to use it Time dot time. So we're just setting the, the, the initial start time because this is where you actually start touching <laughs> the object you're about to throw. And then the start position is also going to be set to my underscore touch position. Also, we got to tell it that holding is true. So we're now holding the ball and then transform dot. Well, you don't need this. This was in my other code. Um, no, 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 no. You don't need it, but I, I'll do it anyway. Set parent. No. This part is is uh, you'd find this in another tutorial, 
uh, regarding the same uh, method of throwing. And I have actually been using it, but I don't believe this is completely necessary. Cool. All right, so there we are. We throw that, throw that. And this is, okay, if that, and that, and that. If touch phase begins, okay. And that is if the touch phase begins and then touch phase ends. Um, you know, I should put something in here because we got to determine if you actually hit the right thing. So if hit uh, dot transform equals this. <laughs> So straight from the camera, you're shooting out a touch um, ray cast. And if it hit, the transform that it hits is actually this object. Even though this is the one with the script, the script on it, it works. Usually you put something like this on a camera. The script, you put it on the camera. But in this case, we're actually putting this on the object. So I'm just telling it, um, it uses the camera. But you have this on the object. So it's just checking. Because Raycast is coming from the camera, from the screen. So, um, if that if that Raycast hits this object, then do this. Then you're actually touching it. Okay, that's better. All right. So if touch phase begin, we do that. So now this is where the touch phase open curly bracket curly braces, and this is where it closes. So we're gonna say else if. So now we're going to check um, if the touch dot, like, oh my gosh, <laughs> dot phase equals touch phase ended and, where's my and, and you're holding. What are we gonna do if this is true? We're almost done. And we're gonna do some testing. Um, if this is true, then end time, because now it's time to set the, the end time. We need to know how soon is it from the time you touch it to when you stop touching it. Um, end time dot end time. It is now set, so whatever time is, it is now set. The end position as well. So touch dot, sorry, dot position. So wh whatever the touch position is, that's the end position at this time because you've just um, picked your finger up from off the screen. Um, the swipe distance, I know that's something we haven't gotten into, but that would obviously be the end position minus the start position. And what you want to say is magnitude. Don't ask me about magnitude. I'm the coding noob. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but here is the, now we have the swipe distance from where you start to where you end. We're going to do a swipe time at this point and that is why I incorporated the start time and the end time because now we can have a swipe time swipe time is obviously the end time minus the start time why is this necessary we need it and able to do that thing we want to do we need it all right, so mom, 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 all that's good. So now we want to say if that's where some of the magic happens. Swipe time, so we gotta filter out the flick. 